I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter. It is Mr. Joe Edwards. Joe, well, uh, Wolves <laughs> won. Sheffield United nil. Not a classic, to put it mildly, but uh, job done. Uh, and Wolves have surpassed 40 points. I think they're, I think they're going to be okay. I think they're going to survive in the Premier League this season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they'll be fine. Yeah, um, yeah not a, not a, a fantastic performance again. Pretty not a great watch. Pretty underwhelming. They're pretty tough to watch, aren't they? At the minute, but. Ultimately, William Zhao's eyes off the mark and uh, a, v- a very well taken goal. Um, fair play to him, you know. It's, it's been a difficult ride. Obviously, had that disappointment against Fulham, but he's, he's come back and he's tucked it away first time. Nice instinctive finish, and uh, you know, it's ne- it's not mind blowing from Wolves. They've given you know for large parts of that game really Sheffield United a bit too much respect to be honest. But they've got, they've got over the line, back to back wins, over that 40 point mark as well, and hopefully now we can see a bit more experimentation. In the, in the final week. Yeah, I mean, is that, is that the way to go? Now, it's funny, isn't it? Because obviously they've had a really tough season with injuries, as, we, as we've talked about, you know, problems on and off the pitch. But at the end of the day, they're, they're surpassed 40 points with six games left. I mean, some clubs would give their right hand. I mean, obviously Sheffield United have gone down today. Yeah, you know, yeah. But, but some clubs each Premier League season would be desperate yeah. to be in the position that Wolves are now. So... With six games to go, is it now time to give the likes of Vitinha, the likes of Otisawi, the likes of Fabio Silva, Corbiano, important minutes? I'm not saying start all of them against no. Burnley, but at the same time, just feed them into that Premier League action because this is invaluable going forward. You don't normally get this amount of time with no pressure from the outside. You know, you haven't got 30,000 fans watching you. You can go and get some really valuable Premier League minutes that are going to stand you in good stead next season. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I mean, whether we'll see is, is another thing. I mean, as, you know, about it afterwards and kept his cards pretty close to his chest but yeah I think particularly for players like Vitinha who has a you know permanent deal that he wants to win in the summer somebody like Morgan Gibbs White mm-hmm. you know if you're going to really decide whether he's part of things moving forward then you'd like to want to at least give him a couple of starts in this run um, of course there's a balance to be struck you don't want to completely throw caution to the wind and just play everybody anywhere well there's but, money to be made as well with, posi- with ex- positions exactly you know? and I mean even you know Wolves could even still finish in the top half which is a, mm. which is a bit crazy considering how the season's gone yeah. but yeah I think you know now they're over the 40 point mark on 41 points six games to play you know I think everybody now just wants to see a bit more caution to the wind and um, you now somebody like Vitinha a bit more time for Silva maybe a senior debut for a Corbiano or a Richards you know just not completely throw everything out the window but try and give these players a bit more game time there. They've been playing four at the back recently. Were you surprised that they went to five today or three to three and five? Yeah, I was. Um, yeah, I was a little bit surprised. I, I thought, you know, if, the, if there's an, a bit of an opportunity to play the four, you know, tonight is the night. But, um, yeah, it was a flat first half. And, um, you know, they, they did create a few chances, actually. They had one cleared off the line from Norwood, a bolly flick. But it was all very tepid, all very kind of pre-season feel, very kind of friendly-esque. Um, of course, finally got that goal after the break, and I, and I will say, you know, he's a player that, you know, we, you know, we've given a bit of criticism over the course of the season. But I thought Nelson Tomato was the pick of the bunch uh, for Wolves tonight. Fantastic block in, uh, you know, in the build-up to the goal, and then, you know, something we haven't seen from Wolves that we had seen in the past when you know a Jota was on song and a Traore was at his Rick Warren best last season. Is a you know a one end to the other counter attack and, and a finish to boot. So uh, an instinctive finish from Jose, first time now dawdling, now thinking about it. Just get your foot behind, you get it into the net, and um, you know that was enough for the three points in the end. Yeah, look, and, and Adama Traore, look, he, he could have had a hat trick tonight, really. But yeah. especially in that second half, he, he was a menace. And, and at least at least a good thing from him going forward, and, and in the last two or three games as well, is that he is creating chances and he's getting assists now, getting goals now, and, and, and making pivotal movements. It's not just no end product. Well, he, you know, he's getting a bit of consistency, you know, he, an assist and a goal and then an assist. So he's made a, an important contribution in the last three games. And we've when net- you needed someone to step up. Exactly. You know, with Neto being out, I, I think the onus is probably on him, you know, to, to be that driving force for Wolves. Of course, we saw Pedence come back. He's, he's feeling his way back in, isn't he? 70 minutes tonight and it's, you know, some things are coming off, some things aren't mm. quite coming off. You know, he, he's not quite there yet, is he? But, um, you know, Traore... 
you know, he's got a bit of a point to prove. Of course, he, if he carries on like this, could get a, a Spain call for the Euros. So nice to see him back on song. But yeah, you know, Jose, that should be a big weight off his shoulders. Sure. And you could um, see coming off the pitch, he was delighted. Yeah, so. yeah, and you know, fair play to him as I say, really well taken goal. That's an instinctive finish that is. Yeah. Um, so just keep on winning then, I guess. Keep on winning with a, with throwing, <laughs> throwing a couple of kids in there. Um, well, Burnley's Burnley next Sunday. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to blow teams away based on what we've seen, and it's been the theme for a while. I mean, creativity remains a major issue. They're not creating enough chances. You know, the, the midfield isn't creating a lot. You know, it, it's a, you know, it's very sideways mm. at the minute, and not, not really got that driving force in another park. Hopefully, Neves can play some sort of part next weekend. I'd imagine he'd just be on the yeah. on the verge of, of being back involved. So, yeah. Uh, there's still a lot to work on and walls aren't free flowing by any means but you know you're looking at the positives it's back to back wins they're on 41 points the, you know they're in no danger and hopefully now you know Nuno we'll see but he might throw a little bit more caution to the wind and hopefully we'll have a, a bit more excitement over the final few weeks Wolves 1 Sheffield United nil for all the post-match reaction make sure you log on to expressandstar.com